Oh guys, now um, I was watching Ross Kemp on Gangs last night and it was all about the knife crime in London at the moment. Now where I'm from in Kirby, it's a very deprived area. Um, it's an area where gang culture is normal, violence is normal, knives and gun crime. At the moment it's in the news all the time, shootings and knife, knife attacks. And it's where I was brought up and I'm not ashamed to say that because your, your past does not define your future. And that's the point I want to make. I had every excuse. Um, I didn't have the perfect parents, I didn't always have everything, but I had the most wonderful family, thank goodness. Um and it doesn't make doesn't make it doesn't make your future. Um these these young people their excuse for their violent thug behaviour has always got nothing to do. Oh, um I've got to carry a knife because the other person it's it's, it's protecting myself. Where's that gonna stop? You know, if the other person has that attitude, what about some poor, some poor fucker's son who's 21 who's died, or daughter who's died? You know, they're just, just we need to stop pussyfooting around the issue, you know. I, I had every excuse to go down that lane. I can talk about this right now. Um, I've seen it, I've brought up in it. And most of my friends are either in prison now, or, or they've gone to completely off the rails. There's no excuse for going the opposite way. Go out there and try it. People say, oh, it's easy for you, you've got a good life. No, nothing's ever easy for anyone in life. Go out there and try and get a job. Do you know what? My, my uncle Thomas, right, my auntie Jenna, they've had the same background. They could have easily went, but not the lovely, lovely, respectful people with the most beautiful children who are, who are still in that area. And 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 um, the the most respectful kids. There's no excuse. It's within yourself. We need to stop pussyfooting around the issue. The little bastards need to get out, get a job, get a life, start loving the world, and show show everyone a bit of respect. Respect goes a long way, and it needs to come from the parents as well. I'm not saying that all parents are to blame, so don't get touchy about the bleeding subject. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, uh, my 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 parents, my my uncles, my aunties, the most loving people, and um, they haven't got much. We haven't got much. We're not all. We're not a wealthy family, but um, there's no bloody excuse for it. They're just low lives. You need to get out their ass, get a job, get a fucking life. And I can say that it could have been me. I could have easily, we easily, easily went down that excuse. I had every excuse in that book. If you want to write a book about it, um, so yeah. So, so that that's my that's my opinion on that subject. Um, you know, we we could all easily brought up that oh, there's not much to do in the area. There's not every excuse under the fucking sun. Stop tossing footing around it. You know, and prison doesn't help. Prison's just as bad. You, there needs to be something in place to sort these little little thugs and bullies out because they're just low lives. That's all they are.